Singapore today. We Singapore's are in lingers. Singapore and for the first time the real feel is less than 100 degrees. So we're going for a run and you're coming with us whether you like it or not. Let's go. Let's start working. Um, we're staying in the Geelong, 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 G-E-Y-L-A-N-G district of Singapore. We didn't know when we booked our Airbnb that Geelong is the red light district of Singapore. No idea. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, let's talk about fitness. Fitness while traveling the world for 18 months, it's not easy. We don't have a routine, it's hard to have one when you're moving every five to 10 days to a new city, new country. We run whenever we can. And if there's a gym in our hotel or with our Airbnb, we definitely try to hit the gym as much as we can while we have it. Anyway, so we ran a half marathon here in Singapore two days ago and we both thought like eh this is gonna be pretty bad we're not in any sort of shape at all at the starting line we let all these people line up in front of us and we didn't push up to the front because we're like well we're out of shape we ran our race and we're kind of surprised at like how many people we were passing turns out Maggie placed fourth out of all the women all age groups um, she would have gotten third if she had started at the front of the pack because you could check on the results you could check the chip time versus the gun time and her chip time from when she crossed the start line crossed the finish line was faster than the girl in third place but the girl in third place crossed the finish line before her so the point we're making is always assume you're going to perform even if you think you're not up to par you're not trained and over to our right is this big like sports area free fitness classes every day so there's no excuse except for the fact it is bloody humid <laughs> what will tell you about it small country small city pretty much a country and a city very developed obviously super futuristic serious about integrating gardens and vegetation and greenery throughout the city that's really nice hot and humid about as expensive as any big city in america so even though we are in asia it's not it's not really cheap like the rest of southeast asia opportunity to come to Singapore and if you're a runner I'd recommend going over to Gardens at the Beta Run because there's a lot to look at and you can be a tourist while running and saying that to peace out.